Hello, hello YouTube. Today we are going to investigate is it a better investment to buy a Birkin bag from Hermes or should you buy a Hermes stock? As you may or may not know, luxury bags are actually a good investment as they get a lot more valuable once they become vintage. But is maybe a stock better investment as you can see a capital gain from the beginning on. Hermes is a luxury brand that you may know, but do you know them good enough to invest in them? Is Hermes a stock that you should buy? Why would you want them and what are the pros and cons of buying Hermes stock? Those are the questions I want to answer so that I can know if I should buy a Hermes stock or not. And eventually, maybe you can also make up your mind about your investment. I hope you have seen one of the beautiful scarves of Hermes once in your life and think, wow, so beautiful. But it actually all started with harnesses for horses and all other horse equipments for the king. That was the first generation of Hermes. The future ones would modernize the company every single generation. That started with a luxurious trunks and suitcases for cars. For example, they were commissioned to make beautiful interiors for the Bugatti cars. Then the next generation expanded by expanding their commercial lifestyle. They went into bigger places such as Cannes. Then came the belts and some couture for men with leather goods. After World War II, when business was better and people were enjoying life, the CEO at the time suggested more accessories around horse races, for example, neckties and scarves for women. That was the beginning of Hermes as we know it now, as a luxurious powerhouse full of exquisite products. Then begin the Birkin bag extravaganza, as I call it, as you could wait for six years for a bag that could cost more than a mortgage for a year. Hermes took the strategic position of patience and not fast luxury. And therefore, everything you read is all about patience when it comes to Hermes. I ask myself very often if the management is on point. But how can you define that when it's a family business? Isn't there anyone else better to do it, like a proper CEO instead of the new grandson of Hermes? So far, they have not disappointed, so I guess they are doing okay. Then it comes to product and trend development. Can they stay on top of each luxurious trend and make the most beautiful bags and scarves and belts or trunks, suitcases and the many other products they own? Can they still grow by making new products or acquiring new brands or more strategic partnerships? And finally, can they keep a takeover away? Right now, about 70% of the shares of MS are in the family's hand. So a hostile takeover would be hard or would at least need the help of family members to sell their own shares. LVMH, better known under the brands of Louis Vuitton, Moet and Hennessy, tried to take over Hermès and actually did not succeed as the Hermès family was very tight and uncontrolled. At some point, LVMH had almost 23% of Hermès. Hermès continued to dispute it and Group Arnaud from LVMH sold their position in Hermès to buy Christian Dior. LVMH has now about 2% of Hermes, which means they are out of the scary takeover zone. Now back to management, you would think that a family business would pay out a lot of dividends so that they can profit from it. But actually, Hermes doesn't pay out that much dividends as they prefer to reinvest in the company. So if it's a family business owned by family and very tight, and Louise Vuitton really wants it. Does that mean you want it? Let's check that out. But before we do, a quick disclaimer. Contact your financial advisor to check if this stock is a good addition to your portfolio. Do your own research and past performances are not a guarantee for future results. 
indeed, the stock price could plummet tomorrow and no one could forecast that. My name is Anne Sophie and I love everything personal, finance and investments. If you would like to know more about any other stock, please let me know, I would love to make a video about that. If you have any other struggles about personal finance, also let me know, I would love to help you. What are the pros of buying Hermes? In my opinion, their large product portfolio that are all amazing. The luxury sector is less affected by economic trends, which means that even during a pandemic or a Russian invasion, the stock is still doing okay. They grow through strategic partnerships and creating brand new bags and other accessories. Finally, the growth of the stock is amazing with between 10 to 20% each year, which is everything you want for a growth portfolio. Also good to mention is that it is family owned and therefore they will do their best to protect their own wealth and therefore also yours. You know me, I like calculations and here are two easy hypothetical scenarios. In these scenarios you will invest 1000 euros in the stock, not 735, I'm sorry. In scenario 1, the stock will grow about 10% every year and pay out a 1% dividend each year. In scenario 2, it will be a growth of 50% and a dividend of 0.5%. In scenario 1, with a growth of 10% means a slower return as of the previous years and therefore a little bigger dividend. The growth of 15% is about what happened in the last 5 years. The capital gains in scenario 1 are about 1,600 euros and 200 euros in dividends, which is about 200% rate of return, which is I think incredible. In scenario 2, the capital gains are about 3000 euros and the dividend a little less, 120 euros. Still a rate of return of 300%. And if you ask me, for growth portfolio, this is exactly what you would like. This is of course invested on a period of almost 11 years, so it does mean you should be a long investor. To get such a rate of return on a bag only would mean to wait a vintage period, which means 20 years, and then still have the bag in very good quality and no usage. So if you ask me, the stock is better than the bag. Now to every plus side of buying something, there is a con side of buying something. and. Here are, in my opinion, the cons of buying Hermes shares. They have close to no dividends and if you are looking for a cash flow, this is not it. Then comes the question, is a family management capable enough or should they go for professional management? Which also comes with the question, can they keep the competitors away but also the acquirers away that really want this very beautiful family business? And finally, like in every luxury branding, cosmetic or accessory world, can we trust that they keep their taste on top? As you can see, the stock price has been falling down since January 1st, which can be a good thing if you want to buy them or a bad thing if you don't trust them. Which brings us to the conclusion. Is it a buy? It depends on what you need. Do you need growth? they can probably bring you that. Do you need cash flow? They are not into the dividend market. The luxury sector is ever growing with new markets and you can see that in their sales but also in competitor sales like Louis Vuitton. So what do you think? Please let me know in the comments, I am very interested in your opinion. If you liked this video, please like and if you want more, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Until next time, bye bye.